politicians like the mayor of Phoenix and everybody. Oh, I should be going after Lawrence and not go after poor guards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dishwashers. Uh, uh, I got a, there's a interim county attorney trying to destroy me and my illegal immigration, but that's another issue I'm here for. Well, I think he's going to get destroyed. Uh, next election. Uh, Would you like to introduce me to this gentleman? Who is this guy? Right now? This is Sheriff Joe. Oh, it is. This is one of my oldest friends. He's the one that gave me my first money when I first decided to run. This guy here first came check. up with the first, first check. And uh, I didn't know whether I was going to run or not. I didn't know whether I, anybody wanted me. He says, you run. Yeah, here's your check. <laughs> Ray, I would ask you, you got, you're, you, you confuse me now. You got, because I never asked you where you're from. I mean, raise your profile. I got a little action. Are you from New York or Chicago? <laughs> no. No, no, no. Massachusetts. I'm from Massachusetts. Oh, my home. Yeah. Far. I'm, I was born in Morris, grew up in Haverhill. Oh, Haverhill. Yeah. My brother, I sent him an invitation to this thing, and he uh, said to me, he says, well, he says, I'll tell you what, he says, I, I, I was, I really uh, almost came down to see uh, Sheriff Joe. I says, what about me? I says, I'm your brother. He says, yeah, but you ain't Sheriff Joe. So, but I was born and raised in Springfield. Springfield. Mass. Well, out west. But I live in uh, Boston. I was head of the Federal Drug Enforcement. Yeah. Uh, but I live in Acton near uh, Lexington, yeah. Concord. Right. Uh, 74 to 78. Wow. I was born here in 36. Oh, you're a young guy. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you, Joe, for sending me a personalized letter thanking me for supporting you. You do sign letters and send it to the public for supporting you, so which I thought was very honorable. So you were nice enough to donate to my campaign. <laughs> huh? I wrote what you letters. letters, I called you. Oh, you just wrote letters. <laughs> just think if you put $10, no, 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 this you would have got Can you hold on to this back? Back. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's to uh, tell you that uh, Sheriff Joe is uh, he's not giving up the sheriff's office to run for governor. And I want to tell you right there, I think you've saved Maricopa County. I think you really have. Well, I, uh, I could have been the governor, but we got to rely on good uh, legislators because you carry the ball. Uh, I do know that there's a legislature that passed that 1070. You seem to get lost in the show. Yeah. I know someone did sign it. Yeah. But you can't sign She's it. taking a lot of credit for yeah, that. Yeah, I don't think you can <laughs> sign it. It's a legend. So, okay. We, we click. You know. We won't hold that against you. Right? I, you know, I don't know how Republicans from Mass showed up here. But I've known Ray for many, many years. Uh, he's a good guy. He's a hard, uh, a lot of work at the legislature. And uh, now we have to keep him there but switch over to the other building, which is the Senate. And uh, we need guys like him in the Senate because we have a lot of problems ahead. And everybody gives the governor, I'm not going to bat out the governor, but everybody gives her all the credit. But you have to understand it's the legislature that makes the laws. Without the legislature, the governor can't sign nothing. So that's why it's critical to have good people, uh, conservative people in the legislature. I, uh, I, I know everybody talks about illegal immigration, the 1070. I could go on and on. Uh, I get the little... Uh, Concerned because I talked about it, uh, but there's other issues too, not just 
illegal immigration, and Ray understands that. He's not a one-issue guy, although it's important. Uh, one reason I'm supporting Ray is I don't like to, uh, his opponent, uh, because uh, that opponent uh, probably is, should have a D in front of her name, and, uh, <laughs> which is okay, because the guy that just hates me is a dumb I didn't guy. say that, but I don't disagree <laughs> with you. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I, don't, I think we need some conservative people, especially this time that we're living with the budget, and illegal immigration, and, and uh, so I, uh, I just hope you spread the word. I try to do it. I'm sorry I introduced you to one of my enemies. Unfortunately, he's a Democrat. Before he's a primary. Uh, he's a union guy for the yeah. police, and this guy, uh, you know, the first time I met a this person, Tell it like it is, and I think that's what people want today. Is some people will tell it like it is, even though you may not agree with them. But at least you get what you get. There's just too many politicians that had to fend his party. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Okay. I wouldn't fit in. <laughs> yeah. That's Terry's car. All right. Well, I'll try again. Yeah. <laughs> Terry, I'm not following you around. I saw a car that says Terry Goddard and Obama. So